Hey bougie, click. Are you being manipulated by a man using weaponized incompetence? Does your partner consistently avoid taking part in planning or scheduling activities? Do they frequently claim not to understand how to complete household tasks or other responsibilities? Do they often say things like, I think you should just do it or you're so much better at this than me? Do they make a mess of simple tasks to avoid being asked to do them again? When you send them to do tasks like grocery shopping, do they consistently forget essential items? If you recognize these behaviors in your relationship, and you have already had an open and honest conversation with your partner about your concerns, it might be time to play his game. Think like a man, weaponized incompetence. Men aren't dumb, they just act like they are. Men downplay their abilities and act less competent to avoid certain tasks or responsibilities. This behavior often leaves women to do the brunt of the household chores, and now that women also work outside of the home, we are left burned out. That's why women have to learn to play their game. You can be smart at work, but you should act like a bimbo at home. The term bimbo is often used to describe an attractive but unintelligent or frivolous young woman. Originally, the word bimbo comes from the Italian word for little child and was used to describe a man or fellow. Why should women be stressed out trying to please a man? Did you know that stress ages you? Stress can accelerate the aging process, both biologically and physically. Chronic stress can lead to inflammation in the body, which can damage cells and tissues. Prolonged stress can cause damage to DNA, particularly through a process called oxidative stress. This can lead to premature aging. Telomeres are protective caps on the ends of chromosomes that shorten with each cell division. Chronic stress has been associated with shorter telomeres, which can contribute to aging. Stress triggers the release of hormones like cortisol and adrenaline. Elevated levels of these hormones over time can negatively impact various bodily functions and accelerate aging. And we all know that men will leave you for someone younger when you start to let yourself go, but they never realize how their weaponized incompetence has caused this. Interestingly, some studies suggest that the effects of stress on biological aging can be reversed once the stressor is removed and the body has time to recover. But like they say, you can't live with men, and you can't live without them. The phrase, you can't live with them, you can't live without them is often used to express frustration with someone or something that the speaker ultimately cannot give up. It's commonly applied to relationships, particularly romantic ones, to highlight the ongoing conflict between annoyance and need for the other person. In a male-ran world, you have to deal with men. Also having a man is a good way to protect yourself from other men. But we can't negate the stress that men ultimately cause women. Stress can have a wide range of negative effects, not just on aging, but on physical and mental health. Chronic stress can lead to anxiety, depression, and other mental health disorders. Stress can cause digestive problems, such as stomach aches, diarrhea, or constipation. Long-term stress can increase the risk of high blood pressure, heart disease, and stroke. Stress can weaken the immune system, making you more susceptible to infections and illnesses. Stress can lead to sleep problems, including insomnia or restless sleep. Stress often causes headaches and muscle tension, leading to chronic pain. Stress can lead to weight gain, particularly around the abdomen, due to increased cortisol levels. Chronic stress can impair memory and concentration, making it difficult to focus on tasks. So how do we still deal with men, but alleviate our stress? I say if you can't beat them, join them. The idea that women are inherently smarter than men is a common misconception. Research shows that there are no significant differences in general intelligence between men and women. However, there are some differences in specific cognitive abilities. Verbal abilities, women tend to perform better on tests of verbal abilities and processing speed. Visual-spatial abilities, men often perform better on tests of visual-spatial abilities and crystallized intelligence. I feel like this stereotype was made to give women a false sense of power over men. However, from the constant relationships fails women post all over the internet like Risa Tisa, we have found that not to be true. Men run circles around women because they often play on our emotions and have convinced us that we are smarter than them. 
So, when men pretend, they cannot do something we believe them and feel sorry for them. We believe they don't know how to love, be faithful, cook or control themselves when an attractive woman is around. Men have brainwashed women into being their workhorses with weaponized incompetence. Weaponized incompetence, also known as strategic incompetence, is when someone deliberately pretends to be incapable of performing a task to avoid responsibility. This behavior often leads others to take on more work, creating an imbalance in the division of labor. For example, in a household setting, one partner might claim they are terrible at cooking to avoid making dinner, leaving the other partner to handle the task. Similarly, in a workplace, an employee might pretend to be bad at using a particular software to avoid preparing a presentation. This tactic can strain relationships by breeding frustration, resentment, and conflict. It's important to address this behavior through open communication to resolve the inequality and ensure a fair distribution of responsibilities. Men use weaponized incompetence in various ways to avoid responsibilities. Here are some common examples. Household chores, claiming they don't know how to use the washing machine or iron clothes, leading their partner to take over these tasks. Cooking, pretending to be a terrible cook to avoid making meals, often resulting in their partner handling all the cooking. Childcare, acting clueless about changing diapers or feeding the baby, which forces their partner to manage these responsibilities. Work tasks, at work, they might say they're bad at using certain software or tools, pushing their colleagues to complete the tasks instead. There are a few reasons why men might engage in this behavior. Avoiding unpleasant tasks, by pretending to be bad at a task, they hope others will take over, allowing them to avoid doing something they find unpleasant or boring. Maintaining traditional roles, in some cases, this behavior can reinforce traditional gender roles, where certain tasks are expected to be handled by one gender over the other. Lack of confidence, sometimes, people genuinely feel they are not good at a task and may exaggerate their incompetence to avoid the embarrassment of failing. Manipulation, in more manipulative cases, individuals might deliberately mess up tasks to ensure they are not asked to do them again. Other ways men use weaponized incompetence to manipulate you is by stereotypes they have concocted. The belief that all men cheat or have wandering eyes are stereotypes perpetrated by men to get women to expect less from them. They use movies, TV shows, and news to highlight stories of infidelity, which can create a skewed perception. Also, men who may have cheated may generalize their experience to all men. Some cultures and societies perpetuate the idea that men are more likely to cheat due to biological or social reasons. While studies show that men are slightly more likely to cheat than women, it's important to remember that many men remain faithful. Women must not let one man convince them that all men are bad. Men who cheat claim that all men cheat for several reasons. Justification, by saying that all men cheat, they attempt to normalize their behavior and make it seem less wrong. Denial, they might be in denial about their actions and use this statement to avoid taking responsibility. Deflection, this claim can serve as a way to deflect blame and avoid addressing the underlying issues in their relationship. Peer influence, they might genuinely believe this due to their social circle or cultural influences, where infidelity is more common or accepted. Men who have wandering eyes claim that all men do it for several reasons. Normalization, by suggesting that all men have wandering eyes, they attempt to normalize their behavior and make it seem more acceptable. Deflection, this statement can serve as a way to deflect blame and avoid taking responsibility for their actions. Peer influence, they might genuinely believe this due to their social circle or cultural influences, where such behavior is more common or accepted. Justification, by saying that all men do it, they try to justify their actions and reduce the perceived severity of their behavior. Society has brainwashed women to be easily played by men. There are several factors that can contribute to this. Socialization and gender roles, from a young age, women are often socialized to be nurturing, empathetic, and accommodating. These traits, while positive, can sometimes make women more susceptible to manipulation by those who take advantage of their kindness and trust. 
Emotional investment, women may be more likely to invest emotionally in relationships, seeking deep connections and emotional intimacy. This can sometimes lead to overlooking red flags or giving partners the benefit of the doubt. Power dynamics, historically, men have held more power in many societies, which can create imbalances in relationships. This power dynamic can sometimes be exploited by men to manipulate or control their partners. Cultural narratives, media and cultural narratives often portray women as being more vulnerable or naive in relationships. These stereotypes can influence how women perceive themselves and their relationships, potentially making them more susceptible to manipulation. Desire for connection, both men and women have a natural desire for connection and intimacy. However, women might prioritize emotional connection more, which can sometimes lead to being more forgiving or understanding of their partner's flaws. Don't let men win start using weaponized incompetence for your benefit. Pretty feminine women, like anyone else, can use weaponized incompetence to avoid certain tasks or responsibilities. Here are some ways this might manifest. Household repairs, pretending not to know how to fix things around the house, such as changing a light bulb or repairing a leaky faucet, to avoid these tasks. Technology, claiming to be bad with technology to avoid setting up devices, troubleshooting issues, or managing technical tasks. Heavy lifting, feigning weakness or inability to lift heavy objects, leading their partner to handle all the heavy lifting. Financial management, acting clueless about budgeting or managing finances to avoid dealing with bills, investments, or financial planning. Playing into stereotypes, society often has stereotypes about attractive women being less capable in certain areas. By playing into these stereotypes, they might avoid tasks they find undesirable. Leveraging charm, attractive individuals might use their charm to persuade others to take on tasks for them, subtly implying that they are not capable of doing them well. Feigning ignorance, by pretending not to understand how to perform a task, they can shift the responsibility to someone else who is more willing or able to do it. Manipulation can take many forms, and you can use various tactics to influence others or control situations. Here are some common manipulation strategies. Guilt tripping, making someone feel guilty to get them to do something. For example, if you really cared about me, you would do this for me. Gaslighting, making someone doubt their own perceptions or reality. This can involve denying events, twisting facts, or making the person feel like they're crazy. Flattery, using excessive compliments to gain favor or influence someone. This can be insincere and aimed at getting something in return. Playing the victim, acting as if they are the victim to gain sympathy and manipulate others into doing what they want. Projection, accusing others of having the feelings or motives that they themselves have. For example, a manipulative person might accuse someone else of being jealous when they are the ones feeling jealous. Lying, telling falsehoods to control or coerce others, avoid blame, or achieve their goals. Emotional blackmail, using threats or emotional pressure to force someone into compliance. For example, threatening to end a relationship if the person doesn't do what they want. Passive aggressiveness, indirectly expressing negative feelings instead of openly addressing them. This can include giving the silent treatment, making sarcastic remarks, or procrastinating on tasks. Changing the rules, constantly shifting expectations or requirements to keep someone off balance and maintain control. Other ways you can avoid responsibilities. Procrastination, delaying tasks until the last minute or indefinitely. Delegation, shifting tasks to others, sometimes under the guise of needing help. Excuses, providing reasons or justifications for why they can't complete a task. Distraction, engaging in other activities to avoid the task at hand. Selective memory, conveniently forgetting about the responsibility. Overcommitting, taking on too many tasks to have a valid reason for not completing some. If you have a good man, I don't suggest using these tactics. However, if you have a man who is constantly using weaponized incompetence against you, give him a taste of his own medicine. Only use these tactics after you have had an honest conversation about how their behavior affects you and the relationship. Sometimes, people aren't aware of the impact of their actions. 
clearly define what you will and won't tolerate. This can help prevent the behavior from continuing. Make sure you're taking care of yourself emotionally and mentally. It's important to prioritize your well-being. Remember, the goal is to create a healthy and respectful relationship. If you find that the behavior still doesn't change despite your efforts, it might be worth considering whether the relationship is right for you. What do you think? Are you being manipulated by a man? Let me know in the comment section. Stay bougie.